Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. Right now you're looking at a chart of the S&P 500 futures. And this is for today, Tuesday, September the 14th. Um, as you can see, yesterday we had an inside day. Pretty much um, narrow range majority of the day, as you can see. Very tight trading range, um, 1405, 1395, 10 point trading range. And right now we're at a crossroads, as I showed you before. Market is pulse waving, okay? We start pulse waving since 1392 and a half. So we are managing to stay above pulse wave here. And pulse wave is acting as support, this black line here. And we want to know if we're going to fail like we did back here. This one seems to be stretching out a little bit longer, but we still haven't really um, gone anywhere since since pulse wave. We really need to see if we're going to close uh, above the 1410 level in order to get some more um, muscle into this um, market. We haven't done that. You know, we're still in the summer doldrums. Market's really not doing too much. I'll give you an idea of that as we uh, walk through the, the the technicals here. Okay, let's let's get that done. Uh, look at market sentiment. We have a uh, pulse scan reading of um, 1634 and a swing VIX reading of 1842. As you know, um, the pulse scan is below the swing VIX, so that's negative momentum entering into the market. We don't always get follow through in a situation like this, but most of the time we do. Uh, last red bar was here and here and we managed to continue to go higher. So this, this could be a pause or it could be the beginning of something like this where the market went down. Didn't stay down but it still had a nice pullback. We look again nice pullback. Again pullback here we had a divergence red red and we broke out but more often than not red bars mean selling pressure and that's how that is measured as you can see here again from here down red bars are negative swing VIXs blue bars a positive pulse scans. Okay? So that's how that goes. Alright, moving along. Just wanted you to get an idea of what that means. Okay. The market pulse is still positive since it's trading above its zero signal line. However, the pulse scan crossed below the swing VIX, creating a downtrend channel as of yesterday. This means that negative momentum has entered the market. We expect sideways to lower prices within the next three to five days, which is possible. Um, the swing VIX is not currently topping above 39 or bottoming below negative 39. The last signal was an overbought sell 161 periods ago. The swing VIX does not currently show any failure swings. The security price has set a new 14 period high, while the swing VIX has not. This is a bearish divergence. Since the pulse scan leads the market three to five days out, we'll wait to see if, down, if downside pressure develops. That's what I was telling you about here with this uh, with the pulse with the um, the pulse wave breakout. We've been maintaining above it, but we haven't been going anywhere. So it's, we've been hitting resistance. So we need to now see if we can break or if we're going to break down. Okay, so that's what that means. All right, since the last swing VIX signal. The SP futures price has been unchanged and it's ranged from a high of 1405.87 to a low of 1395 and three quarters. Now, measuring our momentum readings, let's see here. Uh, as far as market trend, currently the trend is very bullish with heavy accumulation. As you can see here, bullish and bullish. As far as our trend strength, it's weak, 
uh, were range bound. Prices have ceased trending and it's become consolidated at this point, meaning that those who are long are still holding their long positions. The market is put in a short term top. This means that bulls are liquidating long positions, thus taking some profit off the table. But we still have bullish momentum. And you can see that because we have this red bar here. All right, so we're starting to see signs of some, uh, some profit taking. We saw it here, and now we're starting to see it here. Okay. As far as trend line retracement, the close is currently above its pulse wave cycle trend line retracement of 12.48 and a half, and we're also above the long term trend line retracement of 13.14.94. Our intraday price projections, we have resistance at 14.1093. Therefore, if you're still looking for longs, you look to go long at 14.06 and three quarters with a stop at 13.95 and a quarter. Intraday support is at 13.90 and three quarters. Monthly price projections, 12 to 18 month price target outlook. Is actually 1769.99. That's that's pretty amazing. Our long-term trend line resistance is currently at 1422.38. Our long-term trend line support is currently at 1248.57. I want to make a note here on these um, on, on the monthly price projections. This 12 to 18 month price target of 1769.99 is a whopper. It is once it, what it what it does is it measures the historical volatility and it, it measures out what the potential of the market is at its current price levels based on the way momentum has been moving and these price targets are pretty dead on accurate we, we, we normally hit them when the markets are trending or when they have the potential to start breaking out and trending and what happens is the, the, the price targets will ebb and flow as the market moves along. Sometimes those price targets will be extended. Sometimes they'll be lowered. But nine times out of ten, the market will hit the long term price targets. So I just wanted to throw that out there, let you know. Um, there was a video I did some time ago where I, I pointed that out when I showed you um, how the price targets work. And I even showed you how when we hit the lows in March of 99, March, April 99 of um, I'm sorry, March, April of 2009, how the um, the price targets were hit along the way up until that point. And even after that, they're always pretty much hit. So you can um, take a look at that video in the archives for more information. All right, finally, let's wrap this up. Let's look at the volatility readings. Uh, right now, we have the S&P 500 futures uh, below the upper band by 17%. This combined with the steep uptrend suggests that the upward trend in prices has a good chance of continuing. However, again, we see a possibility of a short-term pullback inside the bands more likely. Okay, let's move along to the FAPL DAC. FAPL DAC, for those of you who don't know, is my new term for the NASDAQ 100 futures contract since uh, Facebook and Apple Facebook is, is the new add-on and Apple is the, its biggest component. So when you're trading it, you're basically trading Apple. <laughs> so I call it the FAPL DAC. So the NASDAQ 100 futures is um, pretty much the same thing, but a little bit different. And you can see we've pulled away from the pulse wave. So this market is really moving up rather nicely, okay, with good momentum. All right. I'll give you what I what I mean as we go as we walk through. Uh, the technicals here. Okay. All right. Starting off with sentiment, the pulse scan reading is 21.92, and the swing VIX reading is 23.05. The market pulse is positive since it's trading above its zero signal line. The pulse scan crossed below the swing VIX, creating a downtrend channel as of yesterday. This means that negative momentum has entered the market. So again, like the S&P, we expect sideways to lower prices within the next three to five days, all things being considered. And the swing VIX is not currently in a topping pattern above 39 or bottoming uh, below negative 39. And the last overbought sell signal was 211 periods ago or trading days ago. 
And the swing VIX does not currently show any failure swings. The security price has set a new 14 period high. While the swing VIX has not, this is a bearish divergence. Since the post scan leads the market three to five days out, we'll wait to see if downside pressure develops. Since the last swing VIX signal, the FAPL DAC has been unchanged in its range from a high of 27.29 and three quarters, which was hit yesterday, to a low of 27.08 and let's make it a quarter. Or no, really a half. We'll say 27.08 and a half. All right. Moving along now, let's see market trend. The trend is currently very bullish with heavy accumulation, as you can see, where prices are moving up. As far as trend strength, though, it's still, even though we're moving up and moving higher, it's still weak and range bound. Prices have ceased trending and have become consolidated at this point. The market has put in a short term top. This means that the bulls are liquidating long positions, thus taking some profit off of the table. And again, the system looks at the long term picture as far as where we are. And trend line retracement, uh, let's see the post wave cycle trend line retracement is at 2415.14. And we're also trading above the long term trend line retracement of 2491.86. Okay. Intraday price projections resistance at 2740 and a half. Therefore, Intraday long positions, you go long at 27.30 and three quarters and looking to take profit at that 27.40 level. Place your stop at 27.07 and a quarter. Intraday support is at 26.97 and three quarters. Our 12 to 18 month price outlook is a target of 35.55 and three quarters. Well, that's a whopper from where we are now. Long term trend line resistance is currently at 27.95 and three quarters. We're a long way off of that. And long term trend line support is currently at 24.15.14. So we round that off and say 25.14 even. As for volatility, uh, let's see. The FAPL DAC closed yesterday below the upper band by 13.4 percent. All right. So same situation as the S&P 500. Okay, wrapping this up, taking a look now at the silver futures chart. Um, we are still in the Kumo cloud. Here's the top side of the Kumo cloud here. Bottom side of the Kumo cloud here. Here's your price. Okay, we're trading up right above the bottom half of the Kumo cloud. Uh, high probability of breaking below it because the trend, the overall trend um, right now is neutral because we're inside of the Kumo cloud, but the big picture trend is we're coming off of this long-term bear market. So question remains is are we setting up for another leg down into the $25 level or are we going to break out of this cloud and try to make a bull run for it? We do have some positive momentum in here, but as of, as of yesterday's close, negative momentum has entered into the market. So we're neutral overall. Uh, in this market and we don't have any um, anything to really add to this one uh, intraday price if you want to play it intraday resistance is at 28.45 and we have intraday support at 27.55 um, basically you would go long if you want to go long at 28.51 with a stop at 27.56 if you're going to short it you go short at 27.56 with a stop at 28.51 Okay, now taking a look at gold, I'll just go to the intraday price projections here. Uh, intraday price projections, we have uh, resistance at 1638, and we have support at 1600 even. Um, long plays will be 1630.8 with a stop at 1608.7. Uh, shorts will be 1605 even with stops at 1630.8. Okay, last but not least, uh, taking a look at crude oil. As you can see, it's still trading above its um, pulse wave as well, which was down here. And now it's um, forming a consolidation or a profit taking area. So let me give you those intraday price numbers. Resistance is at 95.20 uh, with support at 91 even. 
So you got a four dollar price range there. Longs will be long at ninety four twenty seven with stops at ninety one ninety five, and shorts will be ninety one sixty with stops at ninety four twenty seven. Okay, so there you have it. That's pretty much it for the day. So remember, take what you can and give nothing back.